you just gon' see I ain't tryna keep it concealed Oh mama, I want it Just let it fall off If you tell me that you want it Baby, it's a gun deal Oh mama, I want it I want it oh. Why you acting like you gotta wait for it, honey? I know I've been in your head like shade butter, honey You go out and tell your friends that we ain't nothing They be in the group chat knowing that it ain't Tell your ex man, push up on his openers Cause I'm in California trying to put you where the ocean is Hit the tape bank like you just now opened it <laughs> Yeah Welcome back to the Guana campus. It has been quite a while uh, and if you're new here, my name is Dr. Maria Lara. I'm a Polish medical doctor right now, a PhD student in Seoul, South Korea. And today we're coming to a very special event here in Guana campus. We will be looking for ways to improve a common denominator, not only for all of the that girl, that boy routines, but one of the most important aspects of our everyday life. Can you guess what that is? Drum roll. <laughs> It's of course our health and well-being and today we're coming to Health Week which is an initiative in collaboration with medicine, dentistry, nutrition and so on and so on. We'll have a lot of experiences, we'll have a lot of consultations, we'll see a lot of very interesting machines and we will also meet very famous YouTubers. So please stay tuned. Let's go! Today we're on two quests, first to check out the physical, mental and social well-being booths and second to join a special meeting with a famous Korean celebrity and workout expert. But first let's grab a mask in our program. Okay, so there's a for the stamp floor. We never do the stamp tour. Shall we do a stamp tour just once for fun? <laughs> We will be starting our trip from smoking cessation program booth. For SNU has a smoking cessation program for students and staff, which include both group sessions and individual counseling. SNU Health Service Center provides free of charge one medical checkup per year, which includes various blood tests, urine tests, chest x-ray, mental health evaluation, and so on. The next stop was mask fitting booth, a very important part of our recent reality. The researchers from this institute have been evaluating the impact of masks on our everyday lives and performed fit testing, a test which makes sure that the masks protect you and seals the face properly. So start testing now? In this test, I was asked to breathe normally and first bend over several times and afterwards I was asked to count to 30 so that the machine can assess if the masks protect us from 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we visited the mental health related booths and here you can see me trying an Omnifit. It is a device based on neurobiofeedback, a science which uses the information about the waves our brain emits. It checks if we are stressed now or relaxed and it helps us to get more concentrated on the tasks with various games that we can do on our phone or can help us to get more relaxed by suggesting the meditation methods and relaxation music. Second booth related to our mental well-being was the Students' Council booth with the campaign promoting psychological 24-hour helpline for SNU students who may suffer from harmful thoughts or would like to talk with someone about their problems. They also wanted to convey a message of being kind towards oneself and treating our minds with kindness. Moving on to the research safety, many of us are working in the laboratories and once you're in charge of your own research, you need to know all of the safety measures. So before joining the lab, we have seven hours course on the most important algorithms of the work safety. Is it a time to embarrass ourselves and try new sports? Maybe. <laughs> The next stop was sports and nutrition and to be honest, I kind of surprised myself by trying some innovative and fun sports like throwing the discs in this metal net. Oh, cool. Whoa! Ah! 
Boy, boy. <laughs> there was also a dental consultation booth available and education on proper teeth and mouth hygiene. And now the nutrition booth was so interesting. So first of all, I did the in-body, so the scan of your body, which includes how much water, proteins, fat, minerals you are composed of. And based on these results, you could have a consultation with a dietitian who showed on the food imitations the best ratios of meals for each person. And it was just so extremely informative. Okay, once we took care of ourselves from various angles, it was time to take care of others. And here you could experience the Express CPR course. Our university has their own CPR center, which provides courses for our students and staff. Okay, where shall we go next? Because there are a lot of booths that we didn't check out yet. There is a VR simulation thing and there's a lot of people waiting in here. Um, shall we go to the... I don't know. Shall we go to Kongang? Uh, yeah, maybe we can check the, the tea booth. And some booths also show the importance of the environment in our lives. The environmental study students of our university develop technologies with which they can grow healthy food in our campus. And also they practice beekeeping and harvest honey. On the other hand, the pharmacy students showed how nature gives back to us by providing plants beneficial to our health. We could choose the chemical formula which was the most appealing to the eye and we could get the tea from this particular chemical formula or plant. And the last part in terms of the booths was taking care of the animal friends. The veterinary students talked about the beneficial and dangerous food for our pets, the opportunities to help in the animal shelter, and I even got to participate in a quiz. And as a dog mother, I want something for my lovely dog back home. So we got a food for my son. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. Okay, so we have still one more thing left, which is a, uh, a lecture, kind of, of a very famous YouTuber in Korea. So we need to wait for that. I think we saw everything, pretty much. It's very really interesting.
The second event we will join is the lecture by the famous Korean exercise expert, Mr. Pete Bli, who has over 1 million subscribers on YouTube. To be honest, I didn't expect for the lecture to be very practical, as you can see from my outfit. But we've learned so much during that time about the squats, lunges, deadlifts, chest exercises, stretching, and so on. I, I thought it's gonna be just like a lecture about how to practice but it was a very practical and informative um, meeting so I didn't expect that as you, can, as you will see from my <laughs> outfit Okay, and we came back to the main stadium. I actually have to eat something uh, because the healthy body and healthy mind also needs a lot of uh, healthy nutrients and healthy diet. So we will be grabbing our dinner uh, soon in Salt Ape Guyok. Uh, but right now I just wanted to like gather my thoughts and just, you know, like spend some time alone, just be grateful for everything that happened here and also film the intro. Here are all these stems that we got. It's a very enriching experience. I hope that you liked it. And yeah, that will be all. If you like this video, just don't forget to give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.